Hey everybody, today we're back with another cool uh, USMRE review and we're trying out our new background here, or at least an experimental one. But um, anyway, this is a uh, menu from uh, 20, 2005 or 2006 that uh, my buddy uh, Sticky Fingers 745 sent me. Uh, it's uh, menu number six, chicken fajita. Uh, this was around, actually it started in 2005. Uh, as menu number six and in 2006 and then it went uh, in 2007 through 2010 to menu number 16 so uh, it really wasn't you know a lot around in a MRE sort of way for a long time but we're gonna check it out see what it's like uh, can't really guarantee how it was stored and uh, but we're gonna find out if it was any good today we're gonna try out one of the new knives I've gotten this one's called a Mora knife uh, this is the companion. These are like fantastic knives, really good price. So, although we've got a pull tab, you know we got to use a knife to cut it open. So let's check it out, see what's in there. Uh, right off the top, we've got yellow and wild rice pilaf, tortillas, we have a nut raisin mix. Uh, we have an accessory packet C, which has the SEA, and I'm guessing that's going to have uh, apple cider, looks like. Um, we have a cheese spread, MRE spoon, of course, cappuccino, French vanilla. We have our beverage bag, and if we just look real quick, this should have the date on it. Yep, so we know it's a 2005 because it's got a 5123 on it. We have a uh, hot beverage bag, which I believe this was the first year hot beverage bags were actually put in. And uh, this one's a little shinier and different than the later bags, I can tell you that. Then, of course, we have our chicken fajita, which is seasoned chicken breast with rib meat, chopped and formed with peppers and onions. And this is one that I've never tried, so hopefully this will be pretty good. Um... All right, so we got all our stuff out here. Uh, let's actually open up our accessory packet and uh, see what we have here. <clears throat> we have uh, seasoning blend, salt free, book of matches, white tip, cinnamon chewing gum, salt, moist towelette, uh, our U.S. issue butt ration and spice cider. This stuff here, I love. So we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, chicken fajita and heat it. It looks like well, we actually have our rice and our chicken fajita. So I'm gonna put them both in the uh, flameless ration heater and uh, see how well these, how good they taste. that rice we're going to try to break that up a little bit that is the one thing that always seems to uh, turn into a solid block and because this is uh, such a slightly old ration we're going to go ahead and take our salt and we're going to put this into flameless ration heater get it started use our East German canteen all right kind of give that a little bit of a shake to uh, get the salt dissolved Okay, we'll drop in our fajita. A 
or not. There we go. Pretty tight fit on this one. Might need to add a little bit more water to that. It's already starting to heat up. Let's add just another splash of water. Okay, you can hear it's already starting to heat. So we're going to slide this back in to the box. Then we're going to take our rice. Well, part of it's heating up. Not all of it. So we're just going to take our rice and put that in there and Hopefully this won't be a complete dud. So we'll set this off to the side. And uh, we'll let that heat. Actually, let's get our tray out so we can get all this out here. Okay, we got this back out under a tray, everything out under a tray. I'm sorry about that. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead, I guess, and uh, let's start our drinks. Here we have our spiced apple cider. Um, this says to add a quarter canteen cup or six ounces uh, to water to the contents and stir. So we're going to go ahead and use one of our glasses here. Just a powder. Add about six ounces. Okay. Next up, we're going to mix up our cappuccino French vanilla. And again, it says six ounces. We're going to go ahead and use our canteen cup for that. I think these uh, German canteen cups were perfect for uh, small cups of coffee. <clears throat> Smells just like a uh, maybe an international foods type instant coffee. Add a water to it. All right, we'll give that a little stir. Sounds almost like mixing up a cocoa. Smells really good, vanilla. We'll open up our uh, nut raisin mix. Not really having high hopes for these because the raisins just never seem to uh, last like everything else does. <clears throat> They're oxygen absorber. Here we have uh, walnuts, peanuts, cashews, and the raisins actually uh, aren't all um, slimy like I've seen them. Let's give one a taste. Yeah, yeah the raisins held up pretty well, so so far we're doing good. Let's try out our tortillas. <clears throat> All right, they uh, still seem fairly soft. <clears throat> well, they're of course stuck to each other and broke, so they're 
pretty common with the tortillas. And give a little piece a try. Yeah, they taste just like basic tortillas out of an MRE. Um, nothing fancy. Let's give our cheese spread a, a look and see how well it did. This is usually the uh, benchmark item. Uh, it seems like there's a little bit of delamination on the uh, pouch right here, but <clears throat> let's get a little bit of tortilla and <clears throat> squirt some of that out. <clears throat> well, that looks, uh, that right there ought to tell you the, yeah, I don't know if you can tell how dark that actually is. Uh, that's pretty darn dark. Uh, I'm just going to give a small taste of it. Well, it actually doesn't taste bad, but that is some of the probably the darkest cheese spread I'm going to taste ever taste. So I'm going to actually taste this whole bite. Well, for as dark brown as this is, um, flavor wise, it tastes pretty good. All right, next let's go ahead and try our uh, chicken fajita. I don't think it's actually heated up any, or at least much, but we're, if it isn't, it just hasn't. <clears throat> uh, I can tell the rice is still cold, at least on the one end of it. Uh, the fajitas, for the most part, still cold, but we're gonna just power through cold or not. So let's go ahead and take our rice and we'll open it up. See what it looks like. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> All right, here we have wild rice. You can see carrots, peas. It actually looks really good compared to, uh, say, the fried rice and a lot of the uh, MREs that come with rice. <clears throat> Let's check out our uh, chicken fajita. We have one corner that's still pretty much ice cold, but we're not going to be worried about that. This one's just kind of for fun. Okay, right off the bat, we can see pretty good sized chunks of chicken, some uh, tomatoes, peppers. It's got a great smell to it. Uh, it's in a sauce. Uh, actually, it smells and looks really, really tasty. I'm just gonna give the sauce a taste. Well, that leaves a lot to be desired. It's a uh, I don't think warm or cold that this would is any would be anything great. It's not really it's kind of almost a salsa taste, but not completely. Uh let's try a piece of chicken, which you get nice pieces of uh good sized chunks of chicken. I wouldn't say it's kind of, it's fajita tasting. It's more just a, a, like a tomato, a chicken and a tomato sauce. It's not bad. Um, I can see where this would have, may have been a disappointment in the field. Um, but at the same time, still good. The chicken is uh, tender. It's still got a little bit of chew. It's actually got, um, it looks like it's actually, uh, pieces of chicken instead of chopped and formed. I can feel texture to it. I can separate it with my uh, tongue into, you know, strands. So overall, that's really not too bad. It may have, may have been a little bit better if it had, came with uh, maybe a hot sauce. Uh, I'm going to try the rice. 
Mm. Now the rice is delicious. Um, this is an item they probably should have kept with the wild rice and the yellow rice. This is really tasty. You've got the peas and the carrots in there. Um, not a lot of seasoning. It just, it really works. Um, we're going to get a sip of our vanilla cappuccino. Yeah, I cannot say that that's great um, by any means, but um, it's good. It's I would have rather had just a cup of maybe plain coffee. Let's try some of our uh, our nuts and raisins. We said we have all different kinds of uh, nuts in here. Uh, there's no salt on them. They're just a dry roasted nut, so they it actually works and it stays pretty well. We're gonna try some of our uh, salt-free seasoning blend on the chicken. See if maybe that helps it out a little bit. <clears throat> this is of course mostly a uh, Mrs. Dash type product. And again, here we have another little bit of a sort of delamination going on where the plastic didn't really stick too well to the foil. Whoa. All right. Let's give that a little bit of a mix. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I can't say as that adds that much great flavor to it. We're gonna try a little bit of the cheese spread. On, uh, wow, that is just a crazy colored cheese spread. I don't know if you can see the streaks in there. <clears throat> That's just uh, neat looking. We're gonna actually take the brown streaks parts out and we'll just use the, <clears throat> all right. We'll add a little bit of the chicken to it. Maybe a little bit of rice. Give that a try. Okay, well, altogether it isn't too bad. But again, I can definitely understand why this wouldn't have survived for that many years. Uh, let's give our uh, spiced apple cider a taste. Yeah, always a winner there. So, um, all right, well, this was a uh, 2005 menu number six uh, fajita chicken. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I want to thank um, Sticky Finger Seven Four Five for for sending it to me. It was kind of a surprise Christmas gift, and uh, I'd say it's it was definitely a different one than I'm used to, um, or at least rather I haven't I've not tried it. So um, it, it really wasn't uh, that great of a meal, and he kind of warned me a little bit on that. But um, Y'all, if you like, uh, subscribe. If you don't, don't subscribe. Leave comments if you want. Uh, we always enjoy reading those, and positive or negative, it's fine. And I uh, hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching.